Hey guys, it's Brett from Iron Body Martial Arts. Let me take you around my training station that I've got here at home. Bit of an outdoor training station. Let's have a look. So as you face it, I've got the Makiwara here, cheaply set up for striking. Nice, you can practice your strikes, counter kicks, doesn't move. Then added onto that, I've got this limb of bamboo. Yeah. I believe this is called like a kakia in, in um, or something similar in the Japanese circles. Yeah, and what I can do here is I can set this to arm's length and then I can practice guard, striking, guarding, striking and basically being inside and outside of punching range or kicking range if I extend it and then you can practice safe counter kicking and striking and a few pretend locks and whatnot it's just good to have that distraction there as well as that here whilst you're practicing this with the limb you can chuck a boxing bag, boxing glove on there to make it more real or whatever as you're practicing then with the limb. There's nice low kicks here. Shin kicks. Nice padding, but on a solid surface. So it's good, it starts to build the conditioning. As I come round, you can practice it on the other side. And of course, you've got this high defensive limb here, which is above head height. So that's cool. Yeah, and again, you can practice those kicks. If you look at it square on, you've got the analog of a person here. This is good for shoulder blades. Yeah, grip, shoulder blades. Yeah, knowing where those are. Face, yeah, analog face. Counter kicking low, and of course, shoulder grab to knee. Yeah, practice your knees here. Nice. Yeah, so again, keeping that analog of a person just helps to create that realism. Yep, that keeps that going. Okay, we walk around. It's pretty much the same. And on this end, I got the boxing bag. Yeah, good old kickboxing bag or whatever. Brilliant. Yeah, and here, so you can really put this together nicely. You can practice your kicks, punches, elbows, knees, whatever you want to do. You can move it along here to some more traditional style stuff. Here yeah, where you're practicing the conditioning of your fists and the alignment and the body. And then here you're practicing different hands, gripping, twisting, pulling, and distance. Yeah, like I said, close distance, far distance everything cool one little bonus point here for you guys is i've got this little bit of chain that hangs on the top of my boxing bag so when i strike it it whips at you it whips at you at about head height keeps you sharp for counter attacks a little trick for you there I'll tell you what you'll keep your eyes open if you've got this whipping for you just keeps those that um Per peripheral vision sharp so yeah here you have it maki wire for your strikes here twists grips grabs defense counter kicking yeah yeah you can practice punching distance yeah and just keeping yourself on guard, moving, counter kicking into here. Yeah, brilliant. Low kicks can be trained, guards, blocks, everything can just giving you a bit more idea of realism. Double kick here, both sides, keep it guard. Oh. Shoulder analog. Knees. Yep. Everything. And then this side, if you could see, boxing bag. Yeah. 
with chains. Yeah. All the kits. Knees. Bring your back on to playing with this. Well, post up some videos, post up some pictures of your home training setups. It's better than nothing.